Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of May, I posted a video letting you know that Google Chrome version 127, which is the next stable release, we are currently sitting on 126, but when 127 rolls out, Google is going to disable manifest V2 extensions and replace V2 extensions with V3 extensions. So basically they are replacing an older rule set with a newer rule set when it comes to extensions, as you may well know. And as mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, this means that affected extensions like uBlock Origin will be disabled and you will no longer be able to install manifest V2 extensions from the Chrome Web Store because Google will be removing those extensions from the Web Store. Now, in regards to uh, disabling V2 extensions, just a couple of interesting little tidbits you might want to know if you find yourself affected. Now, um, ad blockers will continue to remain available for Chrome and other Chromium-based web browsers. And it's possible that a lot of users who are using uBlock Origin as an example or other content blockers won't notice a major difference to uh, before the deprecation of um, V2 extensions. Because if you don't use the advanced options, which can be, as an example, in uBlock Origin, head into your settings and clicking on I'm an advanced user. So if you don't use your advanced options and keep most settings set to the defaults, like I have in my case, um, you should be okay. But there's a bit of a different story though if you use the advanced settings and advanced options. That's where I think the problems are going to arise. Now, um, in regards to this, the only uh, browser that's going to kind of re retain its full content blocking capabilities using third-party extensions, as an example, like uBlock Origin, is Firefox, and also any Firefox fork. And all Chromium-based browsers, including Chrome and Microsoft Edge and Brave, as an example, Opera, and even Vivaldi, won't support these ad blockers anymore when a v2 gets deprecated and v3 gets put into place towards the end of this year so an extension like uBlock origin as mentioned will work best on firefox going forward and i think a lot of you are realizing this because i have seen quite a lot of comments regarding this on the channel but in regards to this, uh, Vivaldi has said that they are planning to keep on supporting the old rule set, V2 as an example, for as long as possible. And Brave Browser um, has also said they will continue to support the older rule set, V2, um, as long as possible as well. Now, something else to consider is, as mentioned, that Google said they are going to remove these V2 extensions from the Chrome Web Store. And the good news is, though, although they're going to remove those extensions from the Chrome Web Store, this change isn't going to affect built-in content blockers and ad blockers. So um, that means that Vivaldi, Opera, and Brave all support their own internal ad blockers. So as an example on Brave, there we go. There's the Brave Shields, and there you go. Um, that's blocked six trackers ads and more have been blocked. So that's got a built-in ad blocker. So that means um, it's going to support internal ad blockers so you don't have to have um, a third-party extension installed as an example like uBlock Origin, which is going to be affected. So that's the good news. And that also means that as Google will disable old extensions that do not support the new rule set, if you use an ad blocker extension in Firefox, as an example, you do not have to do anything. So if you are using uBlock Origin as an example in Firefox, when V2 gets deprecated, you don't have to do anything. And if you use a built-in ad blocker, like as an example shown in Brave, like Brave Shields, uh, you also don't have to do anything. So the problems here are coming, um, just to cut to the chase, with third-party ad blockers like uBlock Origin, kind of using more the advanced 
kind of um, more robust settings. So that's more or less, um, those are the extensions and the ad blockers that are going to be affected. And I thought just to do this quick catch up, um, just to kind of put us on the same page because obviously this is causing a lot of debate and as i get any more info obviously i'll put it out there and keep you guys posted so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one